And here we have an electricity capacitor, 25 volts. This one's. So we've got an ignition switch here, 43 volts DC. They're going to go up. Yep. There's a bit of a pop that. Yes, it went. 43 volts direct currents. <laughs> Here over the sink and let's blast open. Ooh, focus isn't good. Let's get another one. 43 volts DC is coming from those uh, batteries again. But the polarity is not weathered, but uh, who cares? This is what there's a double hole in there, which uh, it's just an ordinary like, two way light switch, it's wired up for the one way one, so you've got to turn both sides on. For the, <laughs> I just thought I'd use that running the spark span over the place in the back, so they go with the caps. So, right, let's go into the next capacitor. And after that one, here goes another one. One, two. Bang, hopefully. Yep. Oh, it's letting off a good bit of steam. Look. <laughs> Still smoking. That's the energizer now. That's a sunblast. I always turn the extractor on full pan. It was on full pan. Oh, that stinks. <laughs> That stinks, but the camera's on the tripod, so uh, that was a good one. And that was done with 43 volts worth of batteries. And an old light switch working at a double hole, so one's alive, one's a negative coming off the, uh, off the batteries, one's a positive, one's a negative coming off the batteries. Uh, or as some way to say in Australia, active, uh, or for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, I mean that was the same value as the other camp. Hmm. That was the. I was just saw the infrared, but it's interesting what, what the rate of that value of that was uh, 390 microfarads, 25 volts. Uh, that was exposure to 43 volts DC. Right. If you can see it, up before the camera now, it's. A 50 volt 47 microfarads. Hit the hit the kill switches. Yes, it went. Kill. Whoa! More smelly smoke. And a dead capacitor. 
that was one of these little things. Oh, in case you see it in front of the camera, put the cameras in there. It's one of these little things here. It doesn't like 47 volts. Just to show you the cameras a little bit closer up, that one there, uh, it popped at the bottom. You can see it from my hand there, right? Popped at the bottom. <laughs> Chilled it down the water, so uh, try and get it off the wires, but it seems to bloody well get itself to the wire. Or has it? No, it's not welded itself to the wire, that sits. Look at what it does. We have got another one in it, but. Now the bone is working as a negative field, this one's over this one, we've got this one here. Sam Young, uh, electrolytic capacitors from an old LG TV. Now it's got the panel caps, just uh, on the top of the area of the Christmas Eve one. The remote control was intended to hit the wall once it hit the TV screen by mistake, but uh, we didn't really get the panels on it. And then it just went, uh, Let's have the TV back to the, back to the caps. Now, 35 volts, 270 microfarads. To be precise, yeah. So, the motor there, so we can go through and cool it down a little bit, and uh, once it goes, pop! <laughs> that doesn't sound a bit like the boombox that looks in front of me. Nah. Nah, I'm not looking for what Boombox looks like, it's got a voice that's totally unique. And, uh, this is battery power by the way, 43 volts DC, let's pop it! Oh, smoking! A smoky camp. Yeah, it's a smoky one, it's still smoking. Power still on. Cut the power. <laughs> enclosed with smoke. Here we are enclosed with smoke. Oh! Yes, we're enclosed with smoke here. And, uh... <coughs> oh, oh. Yeah, it stinks, really. Hell, it stinks. Jesus. Yeah, I think Jesus is Muhammad the Pope. <laughs> Lacking the elbows in it. Right, okay, uh, it's, it's bloody hot. You can't touch it, so how did we get that cold cap off? You can't touch it. Cold water. You can hear it, so, well, you may not hear it on the camera, but I had a little bit of a little one that started. Just a little bit. I'm going to try and pop these off the mains. Hmm. I wonder what would have happened. I've got them on a balance here, the one right off the 230 volts. Or oh, I'm measuring it about 232 to 233 volts average current. Uh, there's a meter that it should pick up. Hmm. I'm talking about a little fire. Okay. And here's another one just for fun, of the exact same rating, the exact same. Twisting the wires around the pins so because it's not as if you're making a hammer connection, you're only making a popping connection. As long as it's on tight enough. But, uh, because 47 volts can arc. Let's get the coolant junk. Still just the sink and most of this is. Let's fill out the coolant junk. 
Let me get ready to put another bang. Right. Right, you bitch. See if we got a little smoky eye. We ready? Go. Gee. What in the hell happened there? That's the inner eyes. Let's see. Something went flying. Shoot it. Oh, it stinks. Just a loud one, that one. Yeah, a bit of a pressure cooker. <laughs> Why isn't the kitchen out here? I'm doing this one. Is it on the coolants? 35 volts here in a centimetre for this. Pops well at 43 volts, direct current. See, it doesn't take a lot of over volts to pop these things. Next. 10 volts. 1000 microfarads. Now, what's this going to do? Is this going to go pop or is this going to go pop? 10 volt cap at 43 volts. It's going to go pop. Yep. Master one, two. And it goes like a little express steam train puffing away. Not puffing Billy from the shield, but puffing Sam Young from China. Oh, I come from South Korea, not China, you boss. <laughs> is it South Korea or is it China? Ah, hang on, I've got another one here. Uh, any check, Sam Young. It doesn't see what it's good here, Tuna. Right, let's get the next one on. And again, 10 volts, 1000 Ricky for it. Goodbye. Here we go. We got a boil, we got a steamer. Look, it's spitting smoke. Look at old puffing steam train. Another cap. It's just went to capacitor cemetery. No, why is the dust cats? Yes, and we've got another problem here. The batteries are getting a little bit warm in places, so we're going to have to separate them for a bit and uh, let them cool. And cap carnage. I'm thinking not to focus on focus in, but it has popped well and truly. Oh, got another one that's the 35 or 270 micro for the ones that go on these with. Okay. Let's dampen it down. Safety touch, there's no chance it's not. The batteries, I'm going to need a rest. The batteries are getting cooler, they're starting to get rather warm. And the current that these capacitors are taking the problem, so uh, I don't want any battery fires or battery explosions, so uh, the last thing is a battery disaster. The last thing we need is a battery disaster, so uh, 
Shit. Oh man, why don't you get Pull me with my big mouth. Oh. Let's get this screw that on. Put the last one. Hmm. Fix the wire strands. Around and around the twisted. And I'm clicking and clicking with blasted. These are still quite warm, so we can't go too much for that. And the one, two, pop. That one took its time, cook up. The battery is taking the negative uh, return is the one that's heating up the most so that's a cap uh, totally one the uh, one that's uh, thing with bone drops <laughs> the normal one that is I don't know if we can attach the wires here yeah, because it's going to make up the circuit but the water's so deep now we can dip it mm. electrolytic capacitor explosion smell very strong for the air tonight yeah, we're going to be a little bit of uh, Genesis in the air tonight. Uh, uh, Phil Collins in the air Genesis in the air tonight. Uh, There's a legal on YouTube, but uh, YouTube don't like his using copyright material. Not that anybody can actually download it for YouTube, so I don't see the point in that, but... Uh, bloody secret, if you ask me. Uh, but they've got their reasons for being a bunch of Nambi Pombies that have jumped up. Uh, Two-Face hypocrites, they let the Yanks away with it, but they don't let anybody else away with it. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, that's national discrimination. Mm -hmm. I've got to pull that up in the UV as well. I've got that idea. If I get any problems with this video on YouTube, I'll just put it on Daily Motion. I'm not having that kind of one there, but I don't have much on it. But, uh, mm -hmm. Most of this stuff on YouTube. Uh, right, let's get the wire on. This will be the last one. Until we get more electronic devices uh, to take care of it. Not the two, four, and eight volt caps. Let's keep blowing the fuses and the rolling and checking circuit breakers and blowing on the beams. Let's have the buggers this one go. But. That's how far they did you, because the batteries are getting hell of a hot in places. This is the last one. And we turn this off, he energize, and that's it. Otherwise I'm not hot anymore, but the batteries are bloody hot. wind up hanging over the front of the ocean so you sort of try to chuck itself over the side before it goes before it got popped. But the electricity goes out first. The problem we've got here is these batteries are getting a hell of a hot. We've got heat in the batteries. So what we're going to do is take the wires away from the batteries. We're going to separate the batteries, we're going to let them cool down and put them away again. That's warm. That's warm. Warm. 
vogn. Og en vogn. Jeg kan hun den der bare det nummer 5 i skolen, den er fast at stå. Så det er bare det, så jeg har gjort meget godt på det maksimum usual amperage, og mille amperage, eller hvad det er supposed to be, hvad jeg tænker. Så one way of alkaline battery 946 LR61 in Morrison's on ground. I would not. They're not bad batteries. Oh, I kept the tripod there. Uh, they're not bad batteries, but I personally I wouldn't use them for holding the devices that need more batteries because I put. Uh, I'm a bit of an old stick, uh, stick, uh, stick, an old sort of kind of stick in the mud that way somewhere too. And uh, I prefer to use either Phillips, uh, top end Phillips, top end Panasonic. Uh, uh, or the old energizer, which used to be ever ready energizer. It's still ever ready. It's still ever ready. But you know, I don't think ever ready exists anymore. But where did they go? Where did they do? I don't have no. I've not seen ever ready batteries in a long time. Did they just see my old TV? I used the high power energizer batteries, so they used the Duracell ultra power, or they used the top end Phillips or Panasonic torch battery. Alkaline batteries, what usually use something, or something to use, or something to use gold power. I was recommending lithium batteries for smoke detectors, but uh, these batteries, if you were using them for a radio or something, you use a 9 volt battery uh, or something else that needs a 9 volt battery, or a radio control handset for a radio control. Uh, they'd be alright for uh, like a kid's toy and that, but the kids are going to run the batteries flat in the end. But, uh, but, they're, but they're not too bad, but they're about £1.40 or something. Uh, it was uh, not bad for experiment. Uh, Pop, 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 where is it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This one, mm-hmm, this one, mm-hmm, this one. This one. That's it. That's it, £1.75. That's £1.75, but for the price of batteries, for the same shot, you're paying about the new one, you with £3.80 for the Duracell battery, the same thing. So, uh, yeah, what's cheaper than using Duracell for the experiment? Mm-hmm. Right, so this video is getting a bit long and this is popping caps, so that's the caps all finished, the caps that can go with batteries. And uh I've got to see you now, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to press like at the end. Uh, and uh, do, do subscribe to my channel, Golden. Uh, it's not that I'm trying to get subscribers, it's just uh, it's, uh, LED talks. Good bye, uh, another good bye. Mm-hmm. Right then, in the dark. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, I'll be posting more stuff up in the future, in the future but uh, as for capacitors, great fun popping caps, but uh, unfortunately, unless you've got a lot of all the electronic stuff, uh, not easy to get hold of. Thanks for watching, folks.